WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, still very sunny, Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside out there, albeit by just a smidgen in some cases. For example, the Dow is up 11 points. That's basically flat. About two tenths for the S&P, or seven points. Uh, two tenths for the NASDAQ, 121 points. Two tenths for the Russell, that's three points and two percent for the semis. They're up 58 points. They're the big mover out there. Gold is um, down 11 bucks. Silver's off 26 cents. Lights recruit up a buck 68. Natural gas up nine pennies. The 30-year treasury printed out at 124.21. That's up three ticks. Let's go try to figure out what all that means by taking a look at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the es mini in the upper left hand side what we can see here is there's no support there is some weekly oscillator and change line support for the es mini but if we just take a look at the daily and weekly profile levels we can see that we well the next level of support i should say is all the way down at 38 44. That's the bottom of that weekly profile. If we take a look at the spot volatility, it is trading below yesterday's low. So that's a bearish signal for it. It likely will target its 50-day exponential moving average, currently printed at 2078. As it does that, that should go ahead and send the S&P 500 higher for at least the next couple of days. Now, if price closes below 2078, well, then maybe it's more than just a counter trend move for the next couple of days out there. If we take a look at the NQ, it found support at that bullish structured pro Profile area between 11,975 and 12,083. I'd expect that we have at least a further rally today and or tomorrow. That today and tomorrow, yeah. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, this is where it's going to be troublesome, both for Goldilocks and for the equity markets, as it does have a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. Uh, today's Today can close above 104.60. We're at 104.61 right now. That will be that confirmation that we should see move up to at least the 105.56 level. Now, Goldilocks here, it is testing its TD9 count breakout support, and today is going to form a TD9 count bottom. Now, the low can come tomorrow as you know, but gold appears as getting ready to form a bottom. In the case of silver, right now price is testing the bottom of its daily profile, 2147. If it closes below that level, we'd be looking at a move back to 2104. That's its TD9 count breakout support area. In the case of lights we crew, just consolidating really with inside the daily, but and or the weekly profiles as well. But from a daily perspective, it's between 7364 and 8068. And even though natural gas generated a nice bottoming signal yesterday, what it did do was unable to take out those sellers. Those sellers reside at $2.40. That's the same issue it's having today on Terrific Thursday. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zed Show. But if you have to start your day, please have a terrific one. And we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care.